Hi, welcome to RefineCo. Today I'm going to walk you through how to edit with RefineCo styles in Capture One and show you just how easy it is to use our styles with minimal adjustments needed. Today I'm going to edit a few images I shot for some stock photography for Stocksy United. Let's get started. Here's a beautiful vase full of lilacs that I shot for Stocksy United. Um, you can see that I have poppies, I have more lilacs on the table and sun. I do really well with flowers <laughs> in stock photography. And then I have a model holding the flowers, arranging them, carrying them, etc. Things that magazines and advertisements want, might want. So to get started editing, you're going to want to go to your little clipboard with a check mark. And then you're going to want to click on user styles. Here you'll see your styles that you have already loaded if you've loaded them. I'm going to use Refine One today, mainly that's because Refine One is the cleanest of our presets. It has the least amount of color shift, but still has those nice soft film tones um, that I used to shoot with Fujifilm. Uh, I use Refine One for stock photography mainly because buyers usually want a cleaner edit, more true to life color, and um, less color shift in shadows and highlights and such. So here you can see your collection and um, I'm going to just go ahead and hover over them so you can see the differences. Mainly with Refine One, it's a difference of strength and contrast, saturation, shadows, and highlights. Let's go ahead and start with Refine One 2. Let's put a before and after up for you. So this is one click, before and after. And the only thing I'd really have to do this is maybe warm it up a little just to give a hint of that morning glow. And um, in the highlights, especially for stock photography, I know for us that shoot portraits and stuff, it's usually not a big concern, but now it's a stickler for me because I was getting so many rejections, is I have to make sure I'm not blowing out my whites here. So it's something that I keep a very strong eye on, so I'm going to edit for that. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little histogram. This is where you're going to edit your white balance, um, exposure, contrast, saturation. You can get into the details here, clarity, and then of course you can play with your levels in here as well. Right now for this image, all I really need to worry about is temperature and maybe a little exposure and then my highlights. So let's just give just a touch of warmth. There we go. Just wanna warm it up a tiny bit. I felt like it was a little cool. And then I want to go over here and make sure I work on these highlights and whites just a little bit. I don't want to pull them back a lot because I really want to stick with my light and airy style, but I want to make sure that they're not blown out. Um, that way the editors, the curators uh, won't kick it back to me. <laughs> and then if I want, I can adjust contrast as needed. Um, of course, you can do the click through of the styles that we've provided for you and get the same reaction. And if you need something in between, that's where you just hand tweak right here in your panel. So basically that would be all I have to do for this image. That's how I would submit it to stock. I don't put grain on it because they don't like it. And, um, even though film generally has some grain, uh, the buyers just really prefer an image that does not have grain. So let's go ahead and do another image. Let's do this one because it's a little darker. And I'm going to Keep this one a little moodier, so I'm going to click on three, go back to my histogram. Definitely need to warm this one up a little. I'm going to pull back the contrast just a little, so you can see the depths are still there from the original style. And then maybe lift the exposure a little. And then let's work on those. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you the before and after. And then let's work on these highlights right in here. And another trick you can do um, with the highlights is you can work in your color balance curves. See how that immediately pulls those down? And before, after. Very quick edit, nice and clean, easy. We wanted to make sure we kept the editing quick and easy for you. That way you can spend more time shooting. Here we go.
Now let's go ahead and go back to our clipboard and pick a preset. And I'm gonna put a tone on this one. I'm gonna keep this one really soft. So I'm gonna stick with Refine One. It just has the least amount of contrast and shadows. That way I can lighten it up. And I wanna stack a tone. So what you wanna do is make sure you, when you go to your three little dots here, and make sure you have stack styles clicked. See if I unclick it. Make sure it's checked. That allows you to layer presets, layer, or sorry, layer, layer styles. I'm still getting used to it being called styles in Capture One. So you're gonna, that way allow, that will allow you to layer them. So I'm actually gonna add Chateau Tone, but I'll show you all three. So there's leather, it's very slight tones, but just enough to give it a little extra something. So I'm gonna do Chateau today. I'll show you before and after. So all I've done so far is click the preset and add on the tone. Not much else is gonna be needed to this image, honestly. I really would just edit this and send it out uh, we could play with exposure, so I just want to show you everything you can do. Adjust contrast, let's pull this over a little. So maybe you needed to have these details in the flower pop a little more. You could do that with contrast, um, which is nice for stock. Just gives a little more crisp, crispy look, but not too much. And then if I wanted to warm it up, that's all a personal preference thing. I like to keep it pretty neutral in temperature. Uh, I feel like it's pleasing to more people. So there's your before, after, and that's Refine One and Chateau Tone. Let's do one more. Let's get a model. Do this one. There we go, there's before. Back to our clipboard. Do two adjustments. Honestly, I really wouldn't have to do much this, but let's just take a look at everything and see. You can see how it just brightens the image up, keeps it true to life. So it's not too different for buyers if you're doing stock photography. Warmed it up just a tiny, tiny bit. Lift the exposure. Feel like I need to bring the exposure down just a touch. Maybe pull the highlights back a touch. Now you of course, um, just like we stacked before, you can add grain to the image. Uh, I don't do grain for stock photography. Uh, it, majority of the buyers don't like it, some don't mind it, but it's just they prefer us not to add grain to the images when we're doing stock, so I don't. But if you wanted to add grain, say for a portrait session, you would just do this, add it in here, just like and if I wanted to add on the tone. Pine looks really nice on this. You can see how everything just stacks together. And if you want to unstack something, you just undo it. And there we go. Go ahead and do that. Let's pretend we're not shooting this for stock. And let's look at our before and after. Before, after. There you go. I hope that gives you a good look at Refine Co. styles in Capture One. And if you have any questions or comments or future videos you want to see, put those in the comment below and make sure to click that little red subscribe button because we would love for you to watch our future videos and not miss a thing. Thanks.